Hello everyone, this is a tutorial about how to batch convert um, pictures and add a copyright watermark or text. Um, came across this the idea to do this tutorial because I was asked by someone if they knew a way to do this and of course Photoshop later versions, newer versions of Adobe Photoshop or Lightroom you can do this but uh, not everybody has Photoshop or Lightroom, so I want to show you a program I came across. It's by a company called FastStone, faststone.org, and they have a program called FastStone Image Viewer, and it's freeware, which is great. Um, and this works on uh, Windows, 98 ME XP Vista and 7. So if you click on the download, and just download the executable, and um, go ahead and run that, and pause this and then come back and I'll show you how to work it. So here we are within the program FastZone Image Viewer 4 and what I've done is I've just browsed through and found a folder of pictures that I'd like to add my copyright uh, signature to and you might say well why do I need to do this uh, you know I don't really care I'm just putting the pictures out on the web doesn't really matter well my thoughts are it, it kinda does matter because uh, you know, when you used to print photos that you took on a film camera, um, they would stay in an album, um, maybe go to a friend's house, but they would not be distributed across the web, which anybody in the world can see these. It's not so much to, to tag the files, uh, you know, for, for copyright purposes, but for me it's just so that people know who took the image. It's important to me that, um, you know, if somebody really likes my, my photo, maybe they'll contact me and, and want to buy some. But anyway, uh, enough of the rant. Um, let me show you how it works. So if you just want to open up the directory in which you want to um, resize or um, add the, the uh, logo to your, your pictures, then all we need to do is um, make a new folder. I just right clicked and I'm going to make a new folder here and I'm just going to call it new. It doesn't really matter uh, what you call it. The reason I'm doing this is because when I when I batch convert all these pictures and put my little uh, copyright text on there, I'm gonna have a different folder to save them to, so they're not gonna be in the same folder and get me all confused. So all I do is go to Tools, Open Batch Convert Rename Dialog, and once you open this up, you're gonna have to browse to your folder, which I've already done, uh, that, that includes your pictures and all I'm going to do is click on the first one and hold my shift key down and click on the last one and click add. This adds all five images and I'm going to do a few things down here as well. I'm going to use advanced options and I'm going to rename. I'll first talk about the advanced options. So click the advanced options tab. Now you have several options here of things that you can do. I'm only going to go over two of these right now. Um, resize is one and the other is text. Now you might say well you're going to do a watermark why are you going to do text? Well I'm going to do text because if you click watermark you have to have a pre-made image uh, which I don't have and I'm assuming a lot of you don't have to add so we're going to add it as text. So click on the text um, tab click add text and this field here just type whatever you want to uh, have on your image. I'll just say photos by Derek. Actually Derek Willis so that way people know who who took it. Um, of course you have the option to change your font change your font, color, um, uh, you know bold, italic, the size pretty much anything. And position, uh, some people like it in the bottom center. Uh, I prefer mine on the bottom right um, but for this tutorial I'll do it in the bottom center since my text is kinda large. You can also um, work on the opacity which is which is really neat. I, I like to leave mine around 50 percent so that way it kinda blends into your photo and it, it doesn't it doesn't stand out um, so much. And the other thing we're gonna do to make these ready for the web is we're gonna resize the images so when you click on the resize tab and then check the resize box I'm gonna resize based on one side and that's going to be the long side so that way if it's portrait or if it's landscape it's going to resize um, 
the the longest side to whatever I tell it to and I'm going to tell it to do 640 because that's kind of a standard uh, image size for the web and the filter is fine you can just leave that now you can notice there's there's green dots here by text and resize that means we we've, we've modified the options under those two tabs so once you've made all the changes you want you can go to save options to file and um, you can name it whatever. I'm just going to name this one Custom One and click Save. Now, what that does is it saves this as, as a, um, a default template file. So when you open your advanced options next time, all of your options will be saved. Or there may be um, a time when you would like to make one for email or one for you know uh, a different option. You can save it. You can save it. Um, sorry, I'm stumbling here. But if you say one you want to do a watermark and one you want to do text, you can save each one individually so that way you don't have to re-enter all of your information. Okay, so once we're here, uh, we go back. What we want to do is, is click on the Browse for the Output folder, and we want to go to that new folder that we created. And I also click the Rename tab, and um, to me it doesn't really matter what this ending is because um, I can rename it myself or whatever. So that's up to you. You can choose whichever one of those you like and, and of course the other two are, are checked. So then all we do is click convert and it just takes it a few seconds um, about two seconds or so per image. It shows you the old size here and then the new size um, which has a substantial um, reduction in size and the quality is still still very good. Okay it's done and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this new folder and I'm going to bring one up to show you what it looks like full screen. See, photos by Derek Willis. And that way you can um, you can do it to all of your pictures and one simple process with a free program. This is a great program and I have to, to say as well I'm using the um, another Faststone product to, to actually record this, the Faststone Capture um, which is kind of like a light version of Camtasia and um, it's twenty dollars and I'm on a 30-day trial right now but I'm, I'm for surely gonna buy this because it works great and it's worth twenty dollars and everything pretty much everything else they have is freeware uh, except for the the max view but um, anyway great uh, site I'm glad I found this I like a great company the product works awesome and I hope you enjoy my tutorial on how to um, batch add your copyright logo to photos thank you for watching